Frustration. Great artwork, right? Well, I've changed my subject three times for this project and read and written down enough information to make me feel like I've learned quite a bit. I guess that's the point, right? To learn. I got so frustrated, I started panicking, began breathing quickly, and then a thought occurred. Hyperventilation. Perfect subject matter for this project. As we have learned, ventilation refers to the carbon dioxide levels in our bodies. Several resources term ventilation as the exchange of air between the lungs and the atmosphere to allow for oxygen inspiration and carbon dioxide exhalation. Hyperventilation is, quite simply, breathing in excess of our metabolic needs. We learn that oxygen enters our body and binds to hemoglobin in the red blood cells, which is then transported to our, tra our tissues and released cooperatively. Carbon dioxide leaves the tissues, latches onto bicarbonate at a 63% rate, and exits our bodies via the lungs and eventually our mouths. As the good respiratory therapy students we are, we also know that there is a finite amount of oxygen saturation that can occur before it reaches its limit. Because of that saturation, when we overbreathe, we are releasing carbon dioxide at a greater rate than our intake of oxygen. Consequently, we have less carbon dioxide in our blood and tissues. You think that would be great, as carbon dioxide is a waste product of cellular respiration. Well, as all things seem to go in healthcare, homeostasis seems to be key in keeping the body healthy. When we have a disproportionately lower amount of carbon dioxide in our bodies, we begin to lose that ever so important acid-base balance of 7.4. The carbon dioxide reduction shifts the body fluids towards a greater alkalinity. Any significant shift away from neutral can cause extremely dangerous health conditions that can be life-threatening. Additionally, it also tends to cause a constriction of some blood vessels, therefore reducing blood flow and oxygen delivery. The brain is particularly affected by this vessel constriction, which accounts for the feeling of dizziness or faint that often occurs during hyperventilation. While chronic hyperventilation can be symptomatic of any number of serious underlying conditions, the fix for sudden onset hyperventilation is to use breathing techniques that I'm sure Jamie and Lee will be happy to teach us in the near future. And of course, in my circumstance, stop procrastinating. Thank you.